Hi. So I'm going to do an ink exploration of Andorillium Colossal Squid Dark. So as you can see, this is a very dark ink. And it was part of the ink flight for, um, I think this was, oh, you know what? It's January. This is January. All right. So I'm going to use um, a Twisby Eco Go Extra Fine, or sorry, Fine, Medium, and a 1.1 stub. And I have my Kakamori nib and Tombow uh, permanent adhesive tape. This is a free sample. Um, and my Usari notebook with Nagabayashi, or made by ya Nagabayashi, and it's Usari paper. Um, this was also part of the ink flight. So I'm just going to go to the next empty spread. And I'm going to open this up. All right, so let me think, or let me check what was the order of the paper. I'd like to keep it consistent. Tomoy River. Tomoy River. Cosmo Air Light, Loish Term, Regalia, and Rhodia. Okay. So Tomoe River. Cosmo Air Light, this little dog hair, Loish Term, oh I should have oriented that the other way, that's fine. Regalia and Rhodia. Easy peasy. Okay, and I'm just going to do put a header and do my swatches. And make a big, huge mess on my dip pen. And then, of course, I didn't get enough in there. All right. Okay. So this is... Andorillium. Oh, and I'm going to add I've had these, but I did not temporarily misplace them. Oh, no. Whoops. Okay. So I've got that in some water. So 
I got some happenings in my house right now. Um, my son's birthday present just arrived while I've been in here filming his uh, gaming PC. So there, probably heard that, he's very excited. Um, so they're waiting to uh, get that opened up. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, so I did pause filming uh, to go help my son set up his new computer and I am back. Um, this did not come out well, so I did another one using the fountain pen to draw the line and then I counted in my head to 30. Um, so that's what it's looking like so far. I will come back to that in a moment. All right, so we have the... Um, And aurelium. And I think because I had to hold the paper to cut it up into the pieces. Getting a little low on ink. I just want to see if I can get that one more. Oh, this, uh, the Cosmo Air Light is going to show. Fingerprints. I don't love it, but there's really not a whole lot I can do about it. All right, let's grab the medium. Didn't necessarily anticipate how I was going to do that with a vial, so, you know, lesson learned. Um, Alright, so this is... Oops, spelled it wrong. Oops, oops. Apparently, I feel very strongly that there should be two L's together at the beginning of Colossal. That's a really pretty color. So, like I said, my son's computer arrived. He had to learn the lesson that um, actually the world is not Amazon and things do not actually arrive within two days. A normal thing to do is to have to wait. <laughs> um, so he was very surprised about that. Um, but we made it. It was when he ordered it, it said it had a delivery date of February 15th. And today is February 9th. So it actually came much earlier, but it was still hard to wait. There's some, uh, all right. There's some smudging. I think in general, I haven't been very um, 
impressed with the Cosmo Air Light paper. I just don't find it very easy to work with. And as I did before, I'm going to flip over the regalia paper because, again, bleed through. Everything bleeds through. Okay. So before I paste this in, here is the chromatography. So it has some pink there at the bottom and then this nice mauve purple into kind of a brown and then this really bright blue. Cool. I like it. And for posterity's sake, I'm also going to keep the one that didn't come out well. Just because it looks kind of cool. So, I got ink on my finger. This is, again, Andorillium Colossal Squid Dark. It was from the Ink Journal Ink Flight from January 2023. And here is the swatch on six different kinds of paper. It has varying degrees of green coming through. Um, it does look black in, at times in the writing. You know, they'll say Cosmo Air Light does have some shading coming through, but you can see the green. Um, the Tilmay River, you can see the green. Um, this very, very nice forest green. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to edit this and get ready to post. And I did have one commenter on my last ink exploration video who put in a request for a specific ink i have ordered it so that will be coming um, and then i can do that comparison um, that they were interested in seeing so uh, thank you for watching um, certainly leave a comment make a recommendation um, i enjoy the the back and forth with the fountain pen community and i will see you very soon bye